What is your cat saying to you? Next to birds, cats possess the widest range of vocalizations of any domestic pet, from purrs, meows, chirps, or growls. Your cat is actually communicating information to you. If you listen closely, you just might understand what your cat is saying to you, and better understand your cat's emotional state of mind. I am the cat butler. And today, I'm going to show you nine different vocalizations your cat is saying to you, and what they mean. Perhaps the most commonly heard cat sound, the meow of an adult cat, is almost exclusively used to communicate with humans, and rarely with other cats. As kittens, cats meow in order to get attention from their mother. But this juvenile vocalization fades away in wild cats as they mature. But our house cats tend to think of themselves as an infant forever and maintain this endearing vocalization throughout their adult lives. How lucky for us humans! So, do different meows mean different things? They actually do. For example, the frequency of a meow is an indicator of a cat's. Frame of mind. A rapid fire meow means, "Hey, pay attention to me. I am talking here." This could mean attention, food, or perhaps access to a room. Timo and Arya tend to meow when they want to go outside or when they are hungry. A longer meow can indicate annoyance, worry, or objection to something. This version. Will usually have a more throatier quality to it. Sometimes, though, a meow simply serves as a welcome home hello, whereas an incessant meowing can indicate illness or injury and may require a trip to the veterinarian. Lastly, a meow can also signify loneliness, so try to keep your cat company. Perhaps the most attractive cat sound, the purr, is a soft, deep, throaty rumble. Most often made when your cat is in a good mood. Gently petting your cat while it sleeps in your lap is a sure way to bring forth this motoring sound of utter joy. Cats may also purr when they are injured or in distress. The key to identifying this type of purr is body posture. If your cat's ears are back and body tense, the purr indicates concern over something. Purring acts as a way for a cat to self-soothe, feel calmer, or to relieve pain. This is like a human crying or laughing to feel better. Some veterinarians have observed cats lying alongside each other and purring when one is injured. This behavior is termed purr therapy, but scientific studies on the subject are limited. Beyond calming an injured kitty, some limited research suggests that a purr. May have bone healing properties. Sounds crazy, right? Well, domestic cats purr at a frequency of 26 hertz, the same frequency that scientists use in vibrational therapies to promote tissue regeneration. So, how does vibrational therapy work? When the body is exposed to high intensity pressure, bones and muscles become stronger. So, theoretically, a cat's purr can have a healing effect. It is thought that in their natural setting, cats spend a lot of time lying in wait to hunt. So purring stimulates the bones so they don't become weak or brittle. Maybe your cat is trying to heal you next time it decides to sit next to you and purr. Are you guys trying to heal me? If you enjoyed this video so far, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. We make videos on helping you become the best cat owner, so please join us. The chirp, trill, or chirrup. Learned in kittenhood, these bird-like utterances are slightly more declarative than a meow. Originally used by mothers to tell kittens to pay attention and follow her, your cat may chirp in an effort to get you to pay attention. As a way to get you to check out something she deems important.
chirrups, and squeaky little trills might also happen when a cat is excited and happy. You might have heard your cat chatter its teeth while staring out a window at a bird or squirrel. The chatter is thought to be an indicator of a cat's predatory excitement and stress of not being able to get to the prize. Some claim chatter is actually a mimicked bird or rodent call, but this is anecdotal because the hunting prowess of a cat depends on silence and stealth. The hiss. There's no mistaking what a hiss means. The sound of a steak sizzling on the grill. It means your cat feels threatened and is ready to fight if it needs to. For example, a big jolly dog may get too friendly with your feline and is sure to provoke a hiss. Along with the threatening sound, the cat arches its back, flattens its ears, puffs its hair, tail twitching, and opens its mouth with fangs ready to strike. When your cat takes on this pose, back off and do what you can to remove the perceived threat. Hissing depends on the individual cat's perception and level of comfort. Some friendly and outgoing felines might hardly ever hiss, while a more shy, reserved cat will resort to it whenever it is unsure of a situation. For example, Timo and Arya hardly hiss at strangers or other cats. Abused, stray, or feral cats are much more likely to hiss than a well-adjusted, sociable pet. The Yowl Unlike the soft sound of a meow, a yowl is a longer, more drawn-out moan that signals worry, discomfort, territorial concern, or a complaint. The yowl is often used in cat-to-cat -cat communication. Arya can get jealous when I spend too much alone time with Timo. She yowls to voice her displeasure. Other reasons a cat may yowl include needing a new cat that isn't to its liking or relocating to a new home. Timo and Arya yowled the first night they came home. I believe they missed their mother. Now that I have become their father, Timo and Arya yowl when I leave the apartment. They get quite worried when I'm not home. Some cats yowl out of boredom. Be sure your cat has ample toys and gets enough attention from you. Sometimes, all it takes to end a case of yowls is just an extra play session each day. If your cat yowls incessantly, check for signs of illness and take your cat to the vet. A caterwaul, a sound that you don't hear too often if your cats are neutered or spayed. A caterwaul is uttered by females in heat when calling out to available mates. This abbreviated, hollow-sounding version of a yowl is quite unique. The scream. If you ever see your cat in a fight, you may hear a few screams. These shrieks often come after a long, ominous yowl, and usually after a paw swat or vicious bite. A scream means your cat is angry or afraid. Sometimes when Timo and Arya fight, Arya tends to scream a bit. Unneutered or unspayed cats are more likely to fight. Snarls and growls. Often accompany the hiss are random snarls and growls. This usually indicates fear, anger, or territorial threat. If your cat is growling, leave it be, unless it's in imminent danger from another cat. A snarling or growling cat will have the classic defensive body posture. Puffed up hair, arched back, ears back, and tail twitching. By knowing what your cat is trying to say, you can better predict its mood, intentions, and needs. As a result, you and your cat will build a stronger bond. Timo and Arya agree. If you thought this video was helpful, please give it a like. Comment down below, how do your cats talk to you?